think about your think about what you got to do. Think about your life. Think about your next step. We just read in Acts 3, repent ye therefore and be converted. You know what it means to be converted, Jared? It means change, bro. Where you was, boy, what you thought to do, what you thought you was, you're all wrong. It's all wrong, my brother. All of it. I did that. I did it. We did that. We did all that. You feel me? And a, and a brother reached out. And a brother got the Lord's word. It was, of, of course, but by the Spirit of God. And we had to change. What you be fearing? You be fearing the destruction to come. That's what you. That's what you be fearing. When we take heed to the commandments of God, we also have the protection of the Most High God, the mercy of the Most High God. Right. Let's get Second Peter three. Let's get Second Peter three. Watch this. Come on. Second Peter chapter three and verse seven. But the heaven. Four. Yeah, you go. You go right there. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store. Reserved unto fire. Whose word? God's word. God's word. At the commandment of the Most High God, this earth was destroyed in the time of Noah. Right. And by the same God, the same command, it'll be destroyed by fire now. It'll be destroyed by this nuclear fire. Y'all think all these nations making all these bombs and they for nothing? The, all these nuclear missiles is for nothing? Somebody gonna push that button. Somebody feeling's gonna get so hurt by another nation, they gonna push that button. And that's going to be at the command of the angels sent by God. Right. And that's the times that we live in right now. Right. A very perilous, a very dangerous time. Right. Right. Watch this. Reserved until fire against the day of judgment. So now the destruction of the earth in this time, in our present time, is deserved, reserved unto fire. As in the time of Noah. Right. It was reserved under water. Come on. And perdition of ungodly men. So my brother right here, what is perdition of ungodly men? Do you know? Let's break it down. Let's break it down. I know you don't, I, listen, listen, come, 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 come. Listen, don't get it twisted, bro. No, 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 no. Right, right here, right here, right here. Don't get it twisted. I understand exactly where your mind is. A brother came and got you, you're just trying to be respectful. You just want to come and oblige the brother and look at the size. But I want you to understand something, bro. It's a destruction happening on this earth. Our people are asleep and our people are lost in the source. Right. You understand? We lost in the source. Look at what's going on in Israel and Palestine today. You familiar with what's going on? You watch the news a little bit? So, Palestine is shooting rockets at Israel. Israel has invaded Palestine. You know what it means to invade somebody. They have invaded with tanks and weapons and missiles. They've, the Israelis have invaded Palestine. You understand? This is prophecy of the Most High God, namely Armageddon, World War III, the destruction of the known world. Right. Where you standing right now, this is the beginning. We're watching, you're living in the days of the beginning of the entire earth being being destroyed by fire. That's where we're at right now, that's where we're reading. Watch this. Stay, 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 stay to it. Watch this. Verse 7. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, Reserved unto fire against the day of judgment. Against the day of judgment. You know what the day of judgment is? The day of judgment is when the Messiah destroys this earth. See, we think it's these nations doing this, right? We think that it's the nations moving and deciding to do all these things. Shoot missiles, not shoot missiles, intercept missiles. That's what we think. That's not what's going on, brother. The Most High God is controlling all this stuff. The Most High God is, but to what end? To what point? Let me show you. What's your name? Go to, let's get Acts 3 and 19. Malachi. Your name Malachi? Well, that's a powerful name, brother. Right. That's a powerful name. You ever read the book of Malachi? Yeah. Huh? It means angel of the Lord. That's what it is. Right. That's what it is. Malachi, angel of the Lord. Watch this. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Right. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So the Bible says we got to repent. Look around right now, bro. Which one of these people out here do you think is concerned at all with the end of the world? Come, come on, sister. We just your brothers. Sister, come come closer. We just your brothers. You, she with you, bro? 
this this girl right here. You can tell her to come closer. We so used to hating each other, we can't have a conversation. We can't just say words to each other. Right. That's that's crazy. That's where we at. That's right. where we at as a people. That's where we at. Watch this. Repent ye therefore. The Bible says repent. You know what it means to repent? What does it mean to repent? What does it mean to repent? Just real quick, in your own words, what does it mean to repent? This is Brother Jerry, Kemp. Brother Jerry, what does it mean to repent? Like, to kind of like, it means like, like ask for forgiveness come on. Yeah, ask for forgiveness. What, how do you know what you've done wrong? How do you know you've done something wrong? So that's what Christianity taught us, right? Mm -hmm. To go by our feelings, right? Our our thoughts, our mind, right? Watch this. I'm gonna show you something. Where you at? Yeah, yeah. Watch this. Read read Acts 319 again, right? We bid ye therefore. Repent ye therefore. Now remember, we're just reading the first I mean second Peter chapter 3, the end of the world. You're living in the times that was prophesied, which is the world will be destroyed by fire now. That's, do you believe the earth was destroyed by water? Once upon a time, like say in the time of Noah, I don't know how old you are, how versed you are in the Bible, right? But there's a history that every society on earth understands, recognizes, and believes, which is that the earth was destroyed by water before. Every society has a story or a history of the of what happened under, in the time of Noah, which was the earth was destroyed with water. I'm trying to catch you up, right? So the second time when Christ comes, he's going to destroy. Get, hold it. I know we're going a lot of places. I'm just trying to catch my brother up. Go to Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. Christ is going to destroy the earth with fire now. Just as he destroyed it with water in the time of Noah, he's going to destroy it with fire now. And it's not for nothing. We're going over this so that you can understand, take it seriously, what it means to repent and do it. Watch this. Pay attention. Um, what's that, Jared? Pay attention, Jared. Watch this. Matthew 3 and verse 11. Come on. I indeed baptize you with water. This is John the Baptist. He's saying he baptizes you with water, right? Meaning John the Baptist is teaching you. He's going to teach you the spirit of Christ. He's going to teach you about this man named Christ. He's going to teach you the commandments of Christ. Right. Watch this. Unto repentance. Unto repentance. He's going to tell you what you've done wrong according to God, according to Christ so that you know how to repent so that it's not just a feeling you actually know how to repent but why is john telling you that watch this but he but he christ jesus the christ the messiah the black messiah come on right that cometh after me he that cometh who came after john the baptist jesus the christ right jesus the christ i'm, I'm sorry uh uh when he came at the end of the the, 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 um, the um at the end of the ministry of john the baptist I'm catching you up. I know you're not versed in the Bible, but I'm catching you up. So John the Baptist came and he taught the brothers and sisters the commandments of God. Christ was born, then Christ's ministry started. Once John the Baptist baptized Christ, Christ's ministry to us, to his people, the 12 tribes of Israel, began. Right? And Christ then took over. Watch this. Read it again. He that cometh after me is mightier than I. Read it again. I indeed baptize you with water. So John the Baptist, he's going to teach you what you've done wrong. He's going to teach you what your sins are. Come on. Unto repentance. But he that cometh after me. But he that cometh after John the Baptist, which is Christ. Come on. Is mightier than I. Christ is mightier than John the Baptist. He's mightier. Come on. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. Come on. He shall baptize you with the Holy, the Holy Ghost. So he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost, meaning he's going to tell you even further. He's going to magnify what John the Baptist taught. He's going to magnify the law, like the law say, thou shalt not steal, right? But, you, but what about lying to get something? What about lying to get something? Christ is going to tell you, teach you in your spirit, to deal with the spirit of us uh, Christ is going to teach you to deal with the spirit of adultery, the spirit of fornication. He gonna check your thought. He gonna check your mind, not just the act that you do. You with me? You understand? I need you to track, bro. Your eyes is everywhere. Stick with me. I know it's it's booty everywhere. I got it. What's up? What's up? Talk to me. Talk to me. I know. So let me get you this real quick. Just, just pay attention, cause you gotta repent. Or you gonna die, bro. God said so. 
Even me, if I don't repent, I'm gonna die. We gonna die, bro. Right. That's what we are here to do. We are here to warn our people. The right. Lord ain't playing. All the black men know how to do is play games, bro. That's, right. That's all we gonna get high. As soon as we wake up, we seeking to get high, whether it be through fornication or busting a nut or some dope we're putting in our body. That's all we looking for. As soon as we a black man wake up from 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 sleep, when we go to work, it ain't so we can do something for our community. It's so that we can further getting high or getting some butt. We gotta wake up. We have to mature. We have to grow up. Watch this. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. So Christ is going to baptize you both with the Holy Ghost. Come on. And with fire. And with what? Fire. And with fire. And with fire. And with fire. When the Lord comes, he's the one that's doing all this destruction. Yeah, the people, he made these people to make these bombs. Because the brother said he got to go. So I'm going to make this quick for you. Three and ten. Come on. First Peter 3 and 10. Second Bring Peter 3 and 10. I'm sorry. Second Peter 3 and 10. Bring it but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Meaning you're not going to be ready, Jerry. You're not going to be ready. You're not going to know. Nobody is. Nobody is. Even Christ himself is coming at the command of the Father. So he ain't going to know when except the Father say, go my son. Go redeem those that's been keeping my commandments and destroy all the sinners that didn't give a damn about my commandments right. before you can. Watch this, come on. In the which, excuse me, in the which the heavens shall pass away. The heavens going to pass away. The kingdoms of the earth. All the things that we think cannot be destroyed. All the people and societies that we think so powerful and mighty, they're going to be destroyed. They're going to be destroyed, including America. That's right. Including America. Watch this. Shall pass away with a great noise. Boom! With a great noise. Called right. an ICBM missile. That's right. Two or three of them. That's right. It only takes one to destroy the entire population. You can go on YouTube and Google the simulations they got of nuclear fallout and both the nuclear destruction. It only take one or two to destroy an entire country. That's all it takes. But there are thousands aimed right at Babylon the Great. That's right. The United States of America. Work. Aimed right for her, for her hind parts. Watch this. And the elements shall be melted with fervent heat. Now these are the elements. These are the rocks, the stone, the street that you're standing on. That's They're right. gonna melt. They gonna melt. You ever seen nuclear fallout? You ever seen nuclear fire? It melts everything. It ignites the oxygen in the air. It ignites it. It sets air that you breathe on fire. Come on. The earth also. The earth also. Come on. And the works that are therein. And the works that are therein. Sin. Negroes walking up and down the earth not giving a damn about nothing but fornication, adultery, Stealing, right. money, right. lying, right. drugs, right. getting high, playing right. video games, all that's going to melt. Just like the earth you're standing on, just like the air you breathe, it's all going to be destroyed. Watch this. Therein shall be burned up. Come on. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Seeing then that all these things got you in such a rush, my brother. My brother, who we, we need you to repent. We need you to be saved, my brother. Right. Seeing that all these things that you hope in, seeing all these things that all our people out here hope in, going to be burnt up. They're going to be destroyed. They're going to be melted at the, at the return of the Messiah. Come on. What manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? God say, think about, your, think about what you got to do. Think about your life. Think about your next step. We just read in Acts 3, repent ye therefore and be converted. You know what it mean to be converted, Jared? It mean change, bro. Where you was, boy, what you thought to do, what you thought you was, you're all wrong. It's all wrong, my brother. All of it. I did that. I did it. We did that. We did all that. You feel me? And a, and a brother reached out. And a brother got the Lord's word. It was, a, of course, but by the Spirit of God. And we had to change. We had to change. Some of us making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some of us millions. Some of us millions. But the Lord put a spirit in us to change. Right. The Lord put a spirit in us to change. And I thank God. And we out here to, to give that same thing that Christ gave to us, to our people. Repentance. Show you the way that will preserve you in the day of fire. Preserve you in the day that we just read about when the Messiah returns. Right. You ain't... 
Matthew's 26. All right, Matthew's 26. We ain't, we ain't good, my brother. You understand, Jared? We not good, bro. I know that we think we free. The Bible don't tell us we free. The Bible say, yeah, yet this day in your captivity. That's what the Bible say. Repent. Change your mind, bro. Change your mind. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children.